On a Monday morning, it's Morning Edition from NPR News. I'm Steve Inskeep. Renee Montaigne is getting some well-deserved time off. And Mary Louise Kelly is with us for the next three weeks. Mary and Louise, welcome I'm, back. Thank you. Delighted to be here keeping Renee's seat warm for her. All right, we're going to do your health today. First, the debilitating eye disease that strikes young people and affects about 1 in 2,000 Americans. Teenagers and young adults with advanced cases of the disorder can face a life of near blindness. But there are effective treatments, including a corneal transplant. As NPR's Patty Neiman reports, Kayleen Jones remembers the day vividly. She was in her high school history class, just 17. On Friday afternoon in the class, I had no problem reading the board. Everything was sharp and clear. I could see all my classmates. And uh, come Monday morning, I went to go sit down in my class. I looked at the board and I couldn't see anything. Everything was blurry. She could make out shapes, but not faces. It was kind of like looking through plastic wrap. I could see color, but no real detail. Kaylee's doctor diagnosed a disease she'd never heard of, keratoconus. The cornea, the outer window of the eye, becomes thin and changes its shape. Instead of rounded, it becomes cone-shaped. It turned out Kaylee had a particularly advanced case. One of her corneas had thinned so much it ruptured, triggering her sudden blurred vision. When corneas are only a little misshapen, glasses can help. But many patients, like Kaylee, need a hard contact lens to literally try to push the corneas back back into place. We went through probably 20, 30, 40 pairs of contacts. I mean, just trial after trial. Um, But because my corneas were so cone-shaped, it was kind of like trying to put a plate on a point, you know, on a peak. So they just kind of wobbled and they didn't fit. And that's what happens to one in five patients with keratoconus. Dr. Yuran Rabinowitz directs eye research at Cedar sinai Medical Center, and he's looking into a procedure that could eliminate the need for a transplant if the disorder is caught early. It combines the vitamin riboflavin with UV light to work a little magic on the stuff corneas are made of. The interaction between the UV light and the vitamin creates a reaction which causes the collagen fibers in the cornea to stick to each other. and the process, it stiffens the cornea. And stops the disease. So how do you know if you have keratoconus? If you've been finding you need to switch the prescription of your glasses or contacts every few months because your eyes are changing so fast, then you should see a doctor. You may have to have the shape of your eyes examined. Patty Naimond, NPR News.